hidden in this jumble of letters is President Nixon's middle name. Can you find it? Now you see it. That's how we play. Now, you see it. Now you see it. And here's the host of our show, Jock Henry. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Don Morrow. Thank you, audience, and welcome to Now You See It. Let's meet our two players. We've got Melanie and Dale coming on stage. Hi, Hi Melanie. How are you? I'm fine. Melanie Slayton, and we've got Dale Myers here. We're going to find a little about Melanie first. You're a, uh, a lawyer, right? Yes, I am. Practice any particular kind of law? I practice, practice labor law, employment issues. Employment issues. Had any interesting cases lately? Oh, lots of interesting cases. Hey, you have a nice smile. Oh, Where are you originally you. from? I'm originally from Merced, California. Merced, that's up north. That's beautiful country up it there. It is. Yeah, it really is. Okay, and we have Dale Myers here, and professionally you do what, Dale? I'm a pilot for one of the major airlines. Pilot? Yes. Fly the big, big jet? What kind of uh, jet? The you little bitty 727. 727. But I love to fly, and recently I flew around the world in 46 hours. All right. And I feel like, whoa, <laughs> I bet. Flying. Okay, we've got a flyer and a lawyer here. Good luck to both of you. Let's take a look at our game board right now. Now you see it. Audience, we're going to let you continue to see the board, but for the players, the board vanishes. You're going to get a look at it after I finish reading each question. Remember, every answer starts out at 100 points, but we deduct 15 points for every second you use trying to find the answer. Understand? Okay, here's our first question. Though he is our most trusted newsman, whose wife said he liked dirty-looking girls who look like they just got out of bed. <laughs> Melanie. Line three. Line three. Cronkite. Yeah, can you believe that Walter Cronkite's wife said that about him? 80 points left on the clock. That goes on to your score, Melanie. Remember, the first player to reach 1,000 points wins the game, then goes on to challenge our returning champion. And today in the solo game, what are we up to? I think it's $30,000. Somebody will have a Ooh. chance to play for that money. Here's our next question. At one time in St. Louis, the law said that a fireman was not allowed to rescue a woman if she happened to be what? Dale. Line two. Line naked. two. Naked. Couldn't rescue a naked woman. You move and lead with that, Dale. You got 100 points now. Speaking of naked, a Hindu legend says that to completely hide his nakedness, Adam needed to use a huge leaf from what fruit plant? Dale again. Line two, Line banana. Two, a banana leaf. About as big a leaf as you can find. We now have 200 points. Puck Farm in Ontario, Canada will rent you advertising space on the side of a what? Dale. Line three, cow. Line three, cow is correct. That's worth another 60. You have 260 points, Dale. What movie hunk had to fight off bullies as a kid because he was a ballet dancer? Melanie. Line four. Line four. Swayze. Patrick Swayze. You got it. 80 points. 160 points. What part of Elvis Presley's undulating anatomy was not shown on TV during his third Ed Sullivan appearance? Melanie. Line one. Line one. Right. Move those six. 50 points moves over 200. You now have 210 points. You're just 50 points away from the lead. Herbert Hoover was the first president to have a what in his office? Dale. Line four. Line four. Phone. Phone. Telephone. Correct. 85 points. Takes you now to 345. Eric Estrada will be flashing his teeth and his badge this summer when he returns to TV in a movie based on what series? Dale. Line one. Line one. Chip. Chip. The series that he starred in for many, many years. You got 90 points onto your score. You now have 435 points. Last year, during which month did Americans watch the least television? Dale. Line one. Line one. July. Yeah, stands the reason we're coming to summertime. 45 points there. You now have 480 points. When there's a strong wind, what should a skyscraper do? Dale. Line four. Line four. Sway. Sway. If it doesn't do that, it's probably will fall down. 90 points takes you now to 570 points. At the age of 59, baseball Satchel Paige became the oldest man to do what in the major league? Dale. Line one. Line one. Pitch. Pitch. Right again. We now have 660 points. 
Melanie is concentrated. Now relax, <laughs> Melanie. It's only a game here. What plant is illegal to grow if you get it and stem? <laughs> Melanie. Line one. Line one is incorrect, so let me repeat the whole question for Dale. What plant is illegal to grow if you gather the flowers and stems for marijuana, yet is a major source of fiber to make rope? Dale. Line four. Line four. Hemp. Hemp. You get 100 points. You have 760 points now. At a friendly poker game, what is often wild? Melanie. Line two. Line two. Sushi. Sushi. Uh, way to go, Melanie. Get you back in this game real quick now. You have 300 points. Here's the next question. What is the first name of the legendary frontier hero who was only 5 feet 4 inches tall? The okay, players for 25 points. The answer's on line 3. Dale. Line 3? Yes. Kit. Kit Carson. 25 points takes your score to 785. The players were at the end of the first round. You know, we're going to regroup here, come back very strong, I know. We'll be back with a new game board. More of now, you see it right after this. Stay there. So you really concentrate, Paladin. Okay. Stay out. Welcome back to Now You See It. We've got the uh, pilot and the lawyer here. Dale, who is the uh, pilot. Do you have any interesting hobbies, Dale? Other than well, I'm a golfer and a commodity market player. Commodity market. Have you been successful at either? At both? Uh, at one or the other? <laughs> well, occasionally I think I'm successful at both, but mostly uh, commodity. Mostly commodity. Recently. The golf game could use a little help. Oh, huh? could it ever. <laughs> and uh, we have Melanie Slayton, who is a lawyer. And uh, what are your hobbies? I love to cook. And my specialty is southern food. I, I'm known for my good gumbo. Ooh, that sounds very good. I love hot and spicy food. You like to put a lot of spice and stuff yes, in it? Yes, definitely. Oh, that's great. Okay, now I'll recap the scores for you. Dale, you have 785 points. Melanie, you have 300 points. Remember, it's the first player to reach 1,000 points, wins our game, and then goes on to meet our returning champion, and perhaps a chance of the money in the solo round, which is $30,000. Mm. But first, of course, you've got to play this game, so let's take a look at our board here in round two. And our first question. The United States has thousands of airports, but what state has announced plans to build our first commercial spaceport? Dale. Line one? Line one. Florida. Florida is right. Dale, we'll add 80 points onto your score, which will take you total now to 865. What part of the body did ancient people believe? Dale. Line two? Line two. Eyebrows. Eyebrows is correct for 100 points, Dale. I'll read the rest of the question. Did ancient people believe you could paint to ward off the evil eye? And it's the eyebrow. Okay, you have 965 points. You're very close to a win. Here's the next question. What was the original color of the White House? Melanie. Line two. Line two is incorrect. So Dale, will give you a chance at this. For 90 points and the win, what was the original color of the White House? Dale. Line four. Line four. Ray. You got the win. Yeah. Well, Melanie, he was just on a roll this morning. There's not much you can do with that when he gets on a roll like that, but you were a marvelous player. I love your smile. Thank love you. love to try your, your gumbo sometimes. All right. Sounds sir. like good cooking. And we've got some nice prizes for you. So Thanks, thank you very Dad. much. Now, Dale, come on over and join me because in just okay. a moment, our pilot here is going to have a chance to uh, play in our championship round. Of course, you'll meet our reigning champion, Deborah, who's been on the show now four days, and uh, we got a $30,000 jackpot in the solo yeah, round. Right. Get up there. You'd like some of that money, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to see what happens next. So stay with us right here on Now You See. We'll go up here. Welcome back to Now You See It. We're here to play our championship round, and we got Dale Myers. We just really zoomed through that initial round. You, you were doing quite well there with the board. I hope you I can be as lucky. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's, it, it's luck, and it's a little bit of skill there. Combination of both makes this game work. And here's the woman 
who has uh, been our reigning champion. This is her fifth and final day on the program. Say hello to Deborah Weinstein. Deborah, Hi. how are you? Hey. Whoops, got it? Yeah, I did. Now, Deborah has so far $7,200 in the program. Have you told anybody yet that you're on this show? You're no, sure? I'm afraid to believe it myself. Okay. You, you, you like, are you, are you superstitious? I should ask you that. Normally not, but I have every good luck piece on my body that I could find. Every <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, no, you carry around a picture of a German Shepherd dog, too. Yes. That, that's another good luck piece. Yes, my so dog So you're all home. set, right? Yes. You've got as much luck as you can possibly get on the show. Okay. I don't need to tell both of you, but perhaps the audience doesn't know we're playing for $30,000 today in the solo round. In order to get there, we've got to get a winner here in our championship round, and that's what we're going to do. So, let's show the audience our game board. Now, this board is worth $200. On, on the board are six words that fit into the first category, and the first category is living things that people are scared of. Okay, and we're playing for $200. So, first of all, hands on your buzzers. Ready? Go. Sale. Line two, five. Incorrect. Incorrect. You did say spy, right? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's a bad answer. Now we're going to go over here to Deborah. Living things that people are scared of. We'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, you give me five correct answers in 20 seconds. Okay. And you got the money. If not, Dale will have a chance at it. Okay, okay ready? Go. Line two, Python. That's one. My goodness. <laughs> Line four, Spider. That's two. Line, never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, Just three more we're looking for. What? Okay, didn't find it. Okay, Dale, now you get a chance at it. Uh, these are living things that people are scared of. I'll recap the two answers that we have so far. We have Python and Spider. Living things that people are scared of. We're playing for $200. Just give me one answer here. Oh, we've got lots to choose from. I think there's four left on the screen. Ready? Go. Yes. Line one, combat. Combat is incorrect. Okay, that means, Deborah, you get the $200. Oh, okay, here are the, uh, here are the living things that people are scared of. We've got on line one, a bat. Line two, a wasp. Line two, ash. And line three, a bear. Okay? You, you found five, what you said, but it was spider. You, you saw the first three letters of the word. Of that's probably what happened there. You may be afraid of spies, but it's not what we're looking for. Okay, here's a new game board and a new category. These are road signs. Road signs. We're playing for $300. Ready? Go. Dale. Line two, curve. Curve. That's correct. Now, now you get a chance. It'd be five correct answers in 20 seconds you get $300. We're looking for road signs, Dale. Ready? Go. Line one, yield. That's Line one. two, bump. That's Line two. three, caution. That's three. Line four, merge. That's four. There's one more. Line four, two curve. Line, uh... Line one, stop. You got it! Okay, made a nice little comeback there. We got three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars for Dale, two hundred dollars for Deborah. A new board, new category. These are famous dogs. Famous dogs play for four hundred dollars this time. First four control. Ready? Go. Deborah. Line two, bullet. Bullet. Okay, there's five more famous dogs on your screen. Find them all for me. You get four hundred dollars. Take your total up to six hundred dollars, and you have twenty seconds to do it. All right, Deborah. Ready? Famous dogs. Go. Line one, Millie. That's one. Line four, Spud. That's two. Line four, Tramp. That's three. Two more. Line three, Pluto. That's four. There's one more. Line two, Hal. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I just saw it. You just saw it? You saw it too late. Don't say anything because Dale now has a chance. We're looking for famous dogs, Dale. I'll recap the answers Deborah found. She found bullets. Millie, Spud, Tramp, and Pluto. There's one more famous dog on your screen. It's worth $400 if you can find it. Ready, go. Yes. Line three, Asta. That's right. You got it. You got the money. You have $700.
Okay, we'll take a look at another board and a category this time. This time the category kitchen appliances were playing for $500, which would give Dale the win if you were to do that. So keep that in mind, Deborah. Kitchen appliances. Ready. Go. Deborah. Line one, mixer. Mixer. That's one of the kitchen appliances. All right. Uh, to stay alive in this game, you really need to give me all five and 20 seconds. Kitchen appliances. Ready. Go. Line one, stove. One. Line two, blender. Two. Line three, toaster. That's three. Line four, ice box. That's four. Line two, line three, oven. You got them all. Oh, oh you needed that one. I sure did. And you've done exactly <laughs> what you needed to do. You've tied the game up. We've got $700 for Dale, $700 for Deborah. So we're playing for the win as we take a look at a new board. And this time, the category animals you'll find in a box of animal crackers. Okay, you're playing for the win and $600. Ready, go, Dale. Line two, zebra. One of the animals you find in the box of animal crackers. Five more animals in 20 seconds. You get the money, you get a chance to move on to the solo round as a new champ. If not, Deborah will get a chance at it. Animals you'll find in a box of animal crackers. Ready, go. Line one, bison. That's one. Line two, tiger. That's Line two. three, camel. That's three. Line four, hyena. That's four. There's one more. Uh, tiger. Line, line, uh... Line four, two. In incorrect. Uh, not enough time. So we'll go over here to Deborah. Now, Deborah you got to find one more answer to remain champion and move up to the solo round to recap the answers that Dale did find. He found zebra, bison, tiger, camel, and hyena. And because that was such a very close call, we stopped the videotape, our producers, several times, and it was determined that your answer came late. Okay, you are not in time. Now, Deborah, you will have five seconds to find the one remaining answer. We're looking for animals you'll find in a box of animal crackers to remain our champion and move on to the solo round and a chance of $30,000. Ready, go. Yep. Line four, seal. You got it. You continue as a champion. Dale, that was extremely close, extremely close, but we did look at it several times, and uh, want to thank you for being on the program. We do have some nice parting gifts for you. Good to meet you, Dale. Okay, okay. now, in just a moment, Deborah. You're going to have a chance to play the solo game again. This will be your last chance at the solo game and a chance to get us for $30,000. Okay, you all set? I Let's am. go center stage. <laughs> we're back now with Debbie to play our solo round. This is your last appearance on the show, so good luck, and we're playing for $30,000. Now, take a look at the solo game board. Now you see it, Deborah, and now you don't. I'll be asking you 10 questions. You have 60 seconds to find as many of those answers as you can. Pay $100 for the correct answer, but today, find all 10, $30,000. As soon as you find the answer, you have to circle it with the electronic pencil, call it out nice and loud, pass it to get stuck on a word, and we'll come back if there's more time. Okay. Best of luck. All righty, here's the board, and the clock begins after I ask the first question. A Norwegian, a Norwegian waterway. Pass. First name of 40s movie hero. Errol. Right. First name of Fiddler on the Roof star. Pass. One way to cook an egg. Coat. Right. A famous reindeer. Dancer. Right. Host of a children's show. Roger. Right. Time period in a polo match. Polo match? Um, Chuck. <laughs> Incorrect. Time period in a polo match. Pass. A Canadian National Park. Stamps. Right. A famous award. Famous. Award. Famous award. award. Pass. Star oh. of the King and I. Uh, Rogers. No. Incorrect. Star of the King and I. Oh, pass. A Norwegian waterway. Pass. First name of Fiddler on the Roof star. Uh. Oh. All right, let's go back and recap those answers. The uh, Norwegian Waterway is a fjord on line one, fjord. First name of star, Fiddler on the Roof is zero. Zero must go. Okay, time period in a polo match, you almost had it, the chucker. Chucker, okay, famous award is a Pulitzer. And star of the King and I is Deborah Carr. 
Right there. Okay, you got five correct. That does mean that you got uh, five hundred dollars there. We'll be right to recap all your winnings. Be right back after this. Okay. okay. <laughs> You've been on the show five days. That's the maximum number of days you can be on the program. So we have to say goodbye, but you don't walk out of here empty-handed. You yeah. have $9,000. That's, That's very great. nice. Thank you. <laughs> I want you to promise me you're going to have a lot of fun with that money. You better believe it. Okay, we'll see you again tomorrow, folks. We'll be playing the solo round for $35,000. So then, I'm Chuck Henry. So now you see it. So long, everybody. <laughs> Some of our departing contestants. Centennial celebration ideal for upholstery, slip covers, and draperies. This beautiful fabric is from one of the finest decorative fabric companies, Waverly. And Mrs. Richardson's Sunday Best Ice Cream Topping. Includes hot fudge, chocolate fudge, butterscotch, caramel, and light hot fudge. And a generous supply of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's tender and juicy bite after bite. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken rice. And Triptone, the only travel sickness remedy in Catholic. Safe for adults and children over two. Try Triptone. And Stipple's accent lamp has captured old world elegance. The glass hurricane shade creates a warm ambiance in any room from Stipple. And a member of our studio audience will receive from the collection of the Michael C. Cena Company, it's the elegant 17 tea and coffee service, which tends up earned coffee and teapot, sugar cream, and waste and embossed footed tray. This is Dan Rabbit. President Bush's European tour brings him to Paris for the bicentennial of the French Revolution. Join us for complete coverage tonight on the CBS Evening News. From Television City in Hollywood, this is John Morrow speaking for Now You See It, of our Goodson Television Production.